Well, when your Range Rover Evoke evokes a crash, airbags have deployed, and uh, can't believe it wasn't protected by the personalized license plate with a nice Freemasonic 33. It's the sound of progress. House builders building new houses. And all the locals get angry. But if we're ever going to drive down the average house prices, we're gonna need the sound of fucking construction, you fucking left-leaning, liberal, bleeding heart. Save the environment, Greta Thunberg, fellatioing. Look at that, even the shell boy reverses it. <laughs> uh. Welcome to St. Anne's Square, it is Manchester. You got a bit of the old mainstreamers interviewing the, the peeps. Hello, morning. How's it going? Bit of Vox Pop. See what the uh, highly educated members of the public have to say. Good tramming to you, viewers. I like this effect here, this effect here, whoa! Please tell me you're doing the police van, go on. <laughs> no, no, not the police van. Oh, mate. <laughs> Who's getting clamped? I think he's putting it away, actually. I don't think he's actually clamping anyone, but we shall see. Okay, we're live on the scene with, uh, what's it called? Oh, sh please remember your English. Clamping, wheel clamping, wheel clamping man. Is it Mercedes SLS man? Is it Forest Group construction man? Is it, uh, 3 Series Blue BMW man. Oh, it's 3 Series Blue BMW man. Right, so pay at machine opposite display ticket. I bet you he's been here for days and he's not even displayed the ticket and he's ignoring his parking ticket. And uh, I can confirm he is not displaying any ticket. What happens if the driver chops the chain off and breaks it? Does he get in trouble? No comment, obviously. The Shakespeare is looking a bit worse for wear here on Fountain Street, but it is very old. Bunch of children, small children upsetting the Pizza Express guy. I thought it was their dad, but he's just chased them away. Are they causing you trouble, mate? Are they? What are they doing? Just ripping shit up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, hi there. I'm just currently. Unbelievable. Just unattended children. Are they trying to steal stuff? Look at them. I'm going to go and follow them and maybe call yeah. the police if they have to. Yeah. Enjoy your pizza. Thank you. Oh, do, you want, do you want a photo? All right, let me just. Okay, we're going to discover if these uh, children are unattended. Whether they have criminal intent, are they here to cause trouble? I'm going to observe for a small while and then make a decision. Okay, they've, they're trying to board a bus, but the bus driver says no. The bus driver's still saying no. Bus driver is saying no. Wonder if they had tickets. I wonder. Pictures of you guys, because I've seen you causing trouble down the Pizza Express. Because you've been causing trouble down the Pizza Express. Where's your parents? Why do you not get let on the bus? Yeah. All right. Have I got a problem? Yeah. Well, I think you guys should either be in school with your parents. You shouldn't be going around. Because school is summer holidays. Yeah, yeah, what about you right. carrying on with your Sorry? What about you carrying on with your photography? Do you think? Wait, wait. Excuse me. Hey, no, don't, don't touch it. Don't touch it. Do you think you can tell me what to do? No, you can't take pictures without our permission. Without our permission, you can't take pictures. Can't the police them? Yeah. 
I could call the police on you guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. tell the abuse. Yeah. You're doing this to my you, just, you can't, you can't take abuse. pictures of us without asking permission. I'll get my phone out and take a picture of you. What are you going to say? I'd be very happy for you to take a photograph oh, of me. Right, right, no problem, I don't mind. Yeah. I don't mind you. All right, come take a anyway, if you guys weren't doing anything wrong, why are you worried about me documenting it? Because we don't want it on social media. What? We don't want it on social media. Well, behave yourselves, act like nice children. How about you take pictures of you and cameras and post it on social media? That's fine. Wait, wait, what are you doing? Coming around behind me? I'm going down there, you got a problem. Right. No, I just don't want to be surrounded by you guys. Don't trust you guys. No, maybe your dad should come and sort you guys out. Where is your dad anyway? We sort you out. Where's my dad? My dad's 80 years old, kids. <laughs> You're making jokes about my dad dying. No, I said you're your making dad. jokes about my dad dying. Your dad. You know your mum and dad are gonna. Why? Why are you kicking him? You're calling the police on this guy. You broke his legs. <laughs> really? I'd be more than happy for you guys to call the police. I'm more than happy. Why did you try and steal the camera? Yes, you did. You tried to take the cord. They're recording it. Yeah. Child, which is adult, which is Look at I've got a video, sorry. And um, just to let you know, it's a Piccadilly guard. Next, Piccadilly guard. Next, next to Enterprise, next to Enterprise. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you have a problem with me filming? You have a problem? I think you need to go speak to your parents, guys. Well, I'm calling the police, I'm the police. Good, good, good. Respect him. Good. Yeah, I know. It's good. I yeah, yeah, he kicked, he kicked him and he got a bruise now. Was it you yesterday getting arrested? You're gonna kick off, yeah, when you're being hiding behind the cops. I'm right in front of you now, bro. You wanna get me like you said yesterday? You're gonna get me like you said yesterday. Say that again, bro. You're gonna walk me up? You're gonna do what to me? Don't think you're big enough. That's why you're walking away. Take care. So the gentleman I was just filming there with the uh, phone filming me, I have videoed a very exciting incident yesterday involving him as the protagonist and antagonist all rolled into one. And uh, YouTube found the video a bit too spicy. So they're doing the uh, monetization review. I hope I pass, but uh, yeah, it's funny without the police holding him back, he doesn't act so tough. Hello, mate. Hey, all good, all good. Like a dog behind a fence. When the fence is there, it's all woof, 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 woof. Take the fence away, and it's all tail between the legs. We're all friends now. Piccadilly Gardens. Hey, you okay? How are you, man? Good to see you. Uh, yeah. So, do you mean to interrupt or anything along those lines? Well, nice boy. I have a nice voice. Yes. Thank you. I appreciate no, that. Today, in Hawaii, in a good boy, you know, so find a nice boy today. I'm being a nice boy today. Today, yes. Some, day, some days, yeah. But you know, I just no, film no, today, stuff. Today, yeah. today, today, today. Yeah? Today. Today? Today, yes. You know, today. I don't understand. What are you asking? I don't know. Today. Today? Yes. Yes. Would you have a nice boy? Would I ask a nice boy? I have a nice boy? Yeah, today, today, you know, today. Have yeah. a nice day? Have a nice... Have a nice boy, nice boy, which nice boy? Which nice Juvenile. boy? Well, I'm well. so, I don't understand, but I wish you well, I hope things are good for you. Okay, no, thank me, I, I won't I give you any, anything, boy, which I... Oh, no, no, oh, I know, I just... I, I think I see where he's going. <laughs> I, huh? I, I, give I think I see where he's boy. going. <laughs> Do you want a nice boy? <laughs> oh, no, 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 it's okay, but thank you, though, but I wish you all the best. You're from Eritrea, good Christian boy. Yeah. Good. Well, God bless you, and uh, may Jesus help you, and all the best, man. I understand. Yeah, it's not easy. It's not easy. It's not easy. But listen, I better get back to my my friend. I better chat to him. <laughs> but take care, man. All the best. So Thank you. Did mean to distract you from the No, day. it's all good. It's all good. I just... It's all right, man. Thank you. You are still not a tram, and you are holding up a tram behind you. Not allowed. Toot toot. We're coming along Portland Street. Here's the new Rudy's. Rudy's Pizza. It's very good. Free plug. I'm probably going to have lunch there. But let's hold it steady. 
because the 23 Reg brand new Volkswagen armed police vehicle they've got someone they've got someone let's have a look see what they got he looks um I don't know he looks the way he looks All good. So this is a new uh, police vehicle. Is he in a bus? Oh, he's, ki he's kind of in a bus stop, but they are working, I guess. <laughs> So I just want to have a look at some of the equipment. I can see a Glock, a Glock on the side there. I know these. Use... And they got the electric taser. They've also got the rifles in the car. Okay, well. Never a dull moment down Portland Street. Quiet, ruffian. Okay, the plot thickens. There appears to be, a pu and I'm saying this is purely appearances, there appears to be an assault victim. There's a Muslim gentleman with a bleeding head being spoken to over here. This uh, gentleman has been placed in the front passenger seat of the armed police car. Hope he's got no access to the rifles in the boot. Okay, they've been in the front seat discussing and doing something. Um, usually they're put into the back seat where there's like a cage, you know, like the back of an American cop car. I can see the cage from here, but he's in the front seat. And I suspect it may be to provide him some defense against the public photographer, yours truly, your humble narrator here. So I've been for lunch and it's uh, 45 minutes later, it's still ongoing. Another armed police car turned up. They all had a chat. There was four, of, four officers with this young man. And then it's down to two and uh, they're still, still going on. Okay, everybody. Hello, hello. We come off uh, Market Street. We're on to Brown Street. Brown Street and there's a... Uh, what appears to be a thousand young Iraqi men outside the Iraqi consulate. Let's go see what these young Iraqi men have got a problem with. Maybe their government. Hello, are you young Iraqi men? No, where are you from? Syria. Do you know what this is about? I'm going to have a look as well. Cheers. 
So we got, um, it's a good turnout. Everyone's got their cameras out. Let's see what they've got. So there's some cause. Here we go, here we go, here we get some images here. Let's see what they got. I'll try and understand, I think. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, you all right? Barzani and Palawadi. They were on civil war in 1996. Yes. Mr. Barzani brought Saddam Hussein military to Kurdistan. Yes. Oh, I on see. On the 1st of August, yeah. Saddam Hussein always was against Kurdish. Yeah. And Masoud Barzani brought uh, the help of Masoud Saddam Hussein yeah. to control all the part of the Kurdistan because he was on war on Jalal Taliban. I see. So you guys Kurds or? We are all Kurds. Fantastic. Iraqi Council. Yeah, yeah, the consulate. Yeah, yes. Iraq, yeah. Well, good luck. And I hope you're welcome. It, thank, thank you, you so for telling me. Yeah. Thank you. So yeah, there's a protest. Uh, but Saddam Hussein, they did some very bad things against the Kurds. And you may, uh, yeah, here's some boys. So yeah, down with the baddies in the bath party and up with the Kurds. Thank you. Here we have, uh, well, there's the boys. And here you've got the diplomatic plates of the Iraqi consulate. 183X. So 183 is the diplomatic country code for Iraq. And there's another 183 over there, Mercedes boy. Now, uh, yeah, I've uh, never met a Kurd I didn't like, so big up the Kurds. I hope they get their, what they want out of the Iraqi government. I know it's a big mess in Iraq. The parliament, all the competing groups, the Sunnis, the Shias supported by Iran, the old school Ba'ath Party supporters, believers. Uh, there's uh, extremists, there's uh, Christians, there's obviously Kurds. So uh, I wish their, their cause all the good luck. Kurds were good, uh, they were our allies, don't forget, kicking shit out of Islamic State. The Kurds were there on the front line, absolutely tearing a new asshole on the Islamic State. I ah, yeah, so fair play to them. Looks quite well organized, they got their flags, they got their flags, they got their journalists. And I think, guys, we're going to wrap it up around here, leave them to them, and good luck with your protest. So it's quite clearly a disabled spot. And, uh, oh, it's the Iraqi consulate. Look at that. What a coincidence. Pisses me off how diplomats, Iraq, Iraq diplomats, give them a ticket, please. Come on, let's, sh let's show these Iraqi guys who's boss. Let's show them again, one, once again, who's no, boss. You know, they don't. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. So they can park wherever they want, even on the disabled. Anyway. That's not fair, is it? It's not yeah. fair. Oh, well. well, thank you. Anyway. They already paid for it, so. Look at that. What do you think of this, sir? It's an Iraq diplomatic plates parked on the disabled, and you can't even get a parking ticket. What do you think about that? Well, it's, it's uh, what do they call it now, reciprocatory. If our guys in the, in Iraq park in there, no parking pays, they don't get tickets. Oh, so you're like a tit for tat equal? No, 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 no. No, 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 no but I mean agree, the equality. I don't agree with it, but, that's yeah. the, but of course, if you park your car in a disabled place in Iraq, they blow the damn thing up. I was going to say they'd turn it into a car bomb, wouldn't they? But you can't do nothing about it. <laughs> no, no, no. Actually, Fair they enough. should. They should tow the damn thing away. They should. I mean, I'm going to step away from it because uh, Iraqi vehicles have a, a higher than average... Well, uh, if you go around they they, they, they like to embassy. detonate. Got their embassy around the yeah, there's a big Kurdish, uh, big protest. And, and, yeah, and, and they park there all the time. All right. Well, um, I might stick around uh, if I'm she not too. See what the see what the Iraqi diplomat's got to say for himself. <laughs> Thank you, sir, for your time. Cheers. Are you the Are you the Iraqi diplomat? <laughs> I wouldn't be here in the street, would I? You know? No, no. It's a 183. I, I'm, is, the, I'm, I'm the sulfur diplomat. The sulfur diplomat, yeah, I'm, I'm the Brazilian diplomat. No, um, no, what, no 183, the, 183, they're all parked outside the Iraqi consulate, 183, so. Oh, see, what happened. What is, right? what it, see, he could write a ticket, there's nobody to stop him writing the ticket. Why is he not doing it? But they don't pay. Well, because yeah. they just ripped them up, so he wasted, you're wasting his time, you're wasting the paper's time. Yeah. And everybody's time, so they know them, they know the 183 is not going to pay, so they just keep us on. Yeah. See what I mean? But so, you have to be very careful. So that's the way yeah. it is. It's, it's, it's so what kind of law is this? What kind of law is Dip this? Diplomat law. Diplomatic yeah. immunity. Yeah, yeah. Well, fair enough. Human, human. Yeah, what about fairness and not parking in the disabled oh, sorry, spot? Yeah. Yeah. Just make, just yeah. Be 
happy that he hasn't run you over because if he runs you over he kills you he's still got diplomatic yeah he'll just get smuggled out of the country cheers guys all the best see ya. See ya. frame frame your dog just frame him so I planted uh, two kilos of uh, cannabis and uh, 500 grams of cocaine paste on my little doggy Rover and uh, he's going down he's uh, he's screwed now when you ride oh they're gonna go that way let's get the noise when you ride a bike and you must have everyone know on an auditory level <laughs> oh please rev it boys come on come on boys give it a rev they say loud pipes are oh, they coming over here amazing they're gonna park up Whose motorcycle is this? It's a chopper, baby. Whose chopper is this? Zed. Who's Zed? Zed's dead, baby. Zed's dead. Could you give me a... Oh, there you go. There you go. Could you do a... Thank you. Oh, nice bikes, actually. Very nice bike. If I was to ride a motorbike, it would be a big Batman, big engine, bad boy like that. I love it. I'm not allowed to stop there, even if you're in the car. But, uh, yeah, the life of a traffic warden is never a happy one. Never. A, everyone hates a traffic warden. Is he going to give Big J a ticket? Go on. Give Big J a ticket, why not? Is Big J parked legally? Let's find out. So it's clearly a convertible Rolls Royce 8 I G J I think he's trying to say Big J go on give Big J a ticket does he deserve one he's not got a he's not got a permit on oh, he might have paid by phone so yeah that's true a ticket would ruin his day he can't afford a ticket this guy maybe Audi man's gonna reverse into him <laughs> Well, it's a slow news day in central Manchester, my dear viewers. But uh, we do what we can. It's starting to rain, so I might, I might get back to walk then. Hi, is that Liam? Yeah, yeah, it's Charlie in Manchester. Uh, the, the three uh, brand new Harley Davidsons have just parked up just off Corporation Street. Yeah, bring the trailer from Birkenhead. Make sure you get Connor, Johnny, and the other boys. Um, remember, keep to the speed limit and uh, come into town. Quick uh, four-man job. We'll get these bikes out of here. We'll get them. We'll get them in uh, in the docks by tomorrow night. Oh, how lonely the Crown Court is without the media circus around that horrible, horrible neonatal nurse who will never walk freely amongst us ever again. Now, to anyone who gets upset with me filming people getting arrested. I, um, I only give out the medicine that I take myself. I've been filmed being arrested many times in my life. If you type into YouTube, Charlie Veach arrest, you'll see my arrests on video. And some of them, I'm not very proud of my behavior either, but there you go. Once it's on the internet, it's forever. As I said to the guy coming out of the civil justice court covering his face, it is not illegal. It's not illegal at all to get arrested. It's, it's you're an innocent man until a magistrate or a jury of your peers convicts you. So. It doesn't mean anything, and it came up for me when I got detained by the bastard, bastard, bastard Sergeant Reynolds of the Toronto Police Department, a smug, smirking scumbag with a big, fat mustache. Oh, how he loved to arrest me, and he, he, tried, he put pressure on me. He goes, uh, this is back in 2010, 13 years ago. He goes, sir, Mr. Veach, any convictions? Are, are you known to the British police? I said, no, zero convictions. And he comes back into the room and goes, you lied to us. He slams his hand on the table says, you lied to us. I said, how's that? He goes, we see here, Metropolitan, but you've been arrested seven times. So I smirk at his stupid mustache, and I say, what, well, is it illegal to get arrested? And then I won the rap battle. They all had to leave the room, and I got $25,000 for the 50 hours that those scum held me. Had I known at the time I was earning <laughs> earning uh, $500 an hour, I would have smiled a bit more. But um, if you want to know what really happened, have a look at a film on YouTube by a group called Press for Truth. It's called Into the Fire. And I wear an amazing billabong Hawaiian shirt throughout. So there you go.